Hi, thank you for joining me today. And today I'm scrapbooking some photos of a trip that we took to Halifax Peace Hall, which is about an hour away from us, to see the set of the Marvel Secret Invasion, um, which they were filming up there last year. I'd seen a friend putting on Facebook that it was being filmed, so we thought we'd take a trip up because the kids absolutely love Marvel. So <laughs> it was a really fun day out. So I've grabbed this Crafters Workshop stencil and I'm just pushing some texture paste from Ranger, the Tim Holtz um, just texture paste through the stencil just to create this semicircle. I'm not going right to the edges. I just want to create a bit of a starburst or sunburst, if you like, from the right hand side of the three photos that I'll be lining up down the left there. You will have seen that at the beginning. There's another photo that's going on the right hand side, which is that little pink van. Um, so I left that to dry and now I'm using my Distress Oxide in Blueprint Sketch and just dragging it over that texture paste um, just to get the blue on there and then I'll put a bit on some packaging and splatter it. I'm just watering it down and then splatter it around just to soften the edges really. Um, and I love that semicircle that I've got there. So once that's dry, I'm going to start working on my photos and I'm creating a column down the left hand side of the page. Um, I've pulled out a red film strip from the uh, 49er Market Essentials Collection and I'll be using that to layer up. First of all, I wanted to create some spikes coming out of this semicircle. So going in the grooves where the stencil sat, I'm just dragging my Nouveau crystal drops through there. So starting with the black to create some spikes and then just adding some accent lines with the red. Um, obviously these photos, you can see there's a lot of sort of navy and red in it. So they're the colours that I wanted to focus on. So the papers I've pulled are from Vicky Bootin's Where To Next collection. I think probably Print Shop would have worked just as well. Um, like I say, I wanted to focus on the reds and the blues and those colours are in both of those collections. But Where To Next was to hand and it's new. <laughs> so I wanted to have some use out of that. So I've cut that film strip piece in half because I didn't want to waste it. The rest of it was going to go behind those photos. So I didn't see any point in using the full piece. And now I'm going to build up a mat of papers behind. At first I thought that this navy blue one was going to go right up against the left hand edge, but you could see there, because the um, film strip is transparent, it changed the colour and I wanted that to stay quite a vivid red. So I've pulled it into the centre of the photos and then I'm just tucking some more bits and pieces of paper. These are all papers that you will have seen me using in previous layouts. Um, I'm very lazy when it comes to using papers and if I've got bits that I've already started cutting into I tend to continue to use those <laughs> so that's why um, and how I've chosen these I wanted the reds and blues and a bit of black so just putting in a little bit of that almost like a cherry red uh, the ice cream van on the right hand side or food van on the right hand side has some pinks in it as well so I could go with these slightly more muted reds um, they've worked really nicely. Now I'm trimming off the bottom edges of these pa these strips because I don't want to do the 12 inches. I want to be able to stagger them up and down against one another. So I'm um, just trimming off e extra bits just to make sure that I'm happy with the way that they're going to lay and then I can stick them down. And they're going to go straight onto the page because I've already created my mixed media underneath them. So I don't need to create it as a map like I normally would. So just using my Sticks to Tape Runner to stick those down. I do love this for ease and it doesn't warp my paper at all like you sometimes get with wet glue when you tend to use that. So just getting those all stuck down and look, no distressing of the edges again. <laughs> Quite impressed with myself. So this piece I had gutted, the black um, grid I had gutted from a previous layout that I created. And this is the very last piece that I've got left. And at first I think I'm going to have to use the whole piece, but when I put the photos down, you'll see I can actually save half of that. So I cut that in half and save the other half for another day. <laughs> I really don't like to waste things and I, I absolutely adore that paper. It's come in so handy. Um, it's one of the only black pieces. You've got the black and white floral, but this is the only more solid black piece in the collection. So I really wanted to keep hold of that as, as long as I could. <laughs> So now all those strips are down, I can add the photos on top. Just going to stick this film strip down. I've just used my tape runner because the, where I've put the tape, it's going to go behind the photos anyway. So that was easy just to stick that down with the tape runner. And then I'll, as I say, put the photos over the top. So just being careful to 
overlap so that I see all of the photo, but like that bottom photo, I didn't need the sky showing, so I've just tucked that under the photo of James, Amelia and Ross. So just tucking these into place, first of all, with my tape runner while I work out what I'm going to tuck underneath. Um, I didn't want to glue them down solidly and then have to pull them back up again to tuck things. I know I'm going to use these two tags that I've cut from one of the 12 by 12 papers. Cutting off the bits that are going to tuck behind because there was no point in trying to get those all the way under the photos. And I will actually use those as tucking bits around the tags anyway. So using my single hole punch just to punch those holes and I will run some wax twine through those and then just getting those in position. Now I'm going to work on the right hand side. That travel notes tag is from the same paper, the 12 by 12 paper, and I'm bringing in one of the single film strip pieces um, just to create a little cluster down there. So trying to decide where to put the tag, whether it goes on the left or right of the photo, but in the end I decide that it's definitely better on the right. And just playing with some of those off cuts from the other tags at the bottom, but that doesn't stay there in the end. Now this is a um, die that we've got in Hey Little Magpie. It's a new die called Office Stationery. Um, it's under the Hey Little Magpie brand and I love that tag that it, I've got. Um, it's not a tag, is it? It's a, a bulldog clip <laughs> that I've put on the right hand side. I just cut that out of black card and it just adds something. So now that's all sorted, just working with that cluster, I'm going to stick the bulldog tag down Bulldog clip down. Why do I keep saying tag? <laughs> and then I can stick these photos down permanently. So again, back to that right hand side, that moments captured doesn't stay there in the end. I switch it out for one that says remember, it's from the set sale printables that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. You can download them or buy them as a pre-printed product. I've also gone back to my um, LE Studio label stamp set which I haven't used for a little while and these were just stamped out of blueprint sketch again um, so I've got the circle there and the label piece so punching that hole again in that tag and I will add some twine again to the top of that and then I've decided that it's definitely going to go to the right of the photo so I'm sticking that photo down across all of the journaling bit because I don't need that journaling bit there I've got some more photos of this day, so I shall create a companion page and do a bit of journaling on that. But there's not an awful lot to say, really. The title says it all. You'll see when I bring the title in. So just working on that cluster at the bottom. And I think it's at this point that I decide to bring in that remember piece. You'll see it shortly. So again, this is a red stamped LE Studio label stamp. I've put at the bottom there. I do love these labels. Just deciding whether it goes behind or in front of that frame, but I decide to put it in front of it in the end and offset them against one another. And then I'll cover the right hand side with these circle pieces. So that's a one and a half inch circle. And then this is where I switch out that printable to the word remember. So I've run that blue circle off the edge of the paper, so I will trim that down. Just getting it all stuck down first. Checking everything straight, of course. It's nice when you put it right up to the edge of the page, you can see <laughs> if you're straight or not. And now I'm going to work with these little off cuts. I can't bear to see them wasted, so I'm just going to tuck them under as more layers underneath those photos on the right hand side. So first of all, working with the red piece and then the blue piece. I'm just tucking them under and extending the line there. Because I haven't matted the photos, I think this works really nicely to create a break between that mixed media and the uh, photos. So once they're all in place, I should just peel them up carefully and add some glue. So there we go. And this is where the wet glue really comes in handy. Rather than having to move them, I can just pull them up. And Well, <laughs> if I don't lose them under the photos, I tend to just peel them up and add the glue behind. Like that. 
So that's that side more or less done. I'm just going to add some wax twine. So now coming in with my beautiful Florence alphabet stickers from Bella Boulevard. So starting with the black, and I'm going to spell out Secret Invasion set in the black, and then a heart as a break point between. And then in the blue, um, you can see I've got a lot of these because I've used this blue so much. I'm putting Halifax Peace Hall, which is where it was. And then another heart at the end to finish it off and also to create balance because it fell a little bit short of where the S started. You can see it's not quite um, full along that semicircle. So adding that heart just sort of finishes that off. And then I wanted to add the word Marvel, but I was worried it was already such a large title that I wouldn't be able to squeeze that in as well. So I'm just adding that at the bottom underneath that right hand cluster. So I found this arrow from the ephemera pack that says follow the signs. And then I'm going through the six by 12 sticker sheet just to find some little sprinkly bits to add on. I wanted to add a heart next to those um, tags on the right hand side where I've got that remember piece. And then I found this blue holographic arrow which I thought would sit nicely with that follow the signs. And now going through the puffy um, six by 12 sticker sheets and just getting some of those little, well they're oval this time, circular pieces that Vicky puts on there and just focusing in on the reds and blues to get those scattered around the page. I spot the one that says love this so I think that will work nicely with the photo of my family. And then on the chipboard 6x12 I find a piece that says on the road again and then at the bottom I'm putting one that says photos. And I, I really like these word pieces. They just finish it off somehow. And I'm never afraid to put those on photos. If there's some blank space on a photo, I will put those on the photo. So a little, I just found a little black and gold star. So I thought that would work nicely somewhere. <laughs> so found a spot for that. And now I'm just playing around with some gold um, chipboard pieces there. So now coming in with my red twine. It's the wax twine that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. And just I just started by stringing it through the bottom tag, then brought it through the middle one, and then I'll bring it through that bulldog clip and then just loop it around the page and leave it to dangle down over that mixed media. And that just brings that red in again to that piece. So just securing it at the bottom with one of the red puffy stickers and then adding little bits of glue just to keep it in place mainly where it crosses over itself, that's where I'm adding the glue. So doing the same on this right hand tag using the red wax twine and this time I'm just going to tie a bow just to finish that off. I didn't really want the pieces hanging loosely on there and I add a dot of glue onto the knot just to keep it in place. So I wanted to add my date, that's going on those two labels below that right hand cluster. And I'm just moving that heart and adding a geotag that says fun from the sticker book. I just felt that that finished off that cluster nicely there. So now, of course, it wouldn't be me if I didn't come in with my gold paint to add some splatters. <laughs> so I'll just splatter around the edge of the mixed media and over the top of all that blue. And then a little bit to the right hand side as well. But I still have a nice white space in the top right hand corner there. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I thoroughly enjoyed working with my texture paste again. It's been a little while since I've done that. So I shall see you again very soon. Thanks again. Bye.